Now let us try to do this question. And this will show you why our North Pole, South Pole kind of approach fails. So let us come to the first coil. The first coil is in a magnetic field and it's being pulled out. Okay? It is being pulled out. Now what happens, there is no North Pole kind of thing or South Pole kind of thing that will help you understand whether it will stay, uh, what will be the direction of the current. But the one thing that that is pretty well understood is what? That if this, this coil is going out, what happens? Currently the area that is under the, under the magnetic field, which is, which is causing B into A, the flux to link, okay? If I am taking it out, for example, when, when it when it sort of comes out like this, what happens? This area starts becoming smaller, is it not? B remains the same. So B into A, now, now there is only this small an area, right? So B into A becomes smaller, is it not? B into A becomes smaller. If B into A becomes smaller, the flux becomes smaller. If A becomes smaller, B remains the same, B into A becomes smaller and it will try to, to drive a current so as to not allow the flux to reduce. In what direction? Due to field in what direction? Inward. So it will try to produce an inward field of its own in this direction and that is possible by right hand rule only by, by moving a clockwise current no no it, it is what what is it opposing it is trying to oppose the flux that is linked due to a field that is in the in the inward direction correct no it is trying to oppose your field due to a flux uh, the the flux due to the field that is in the inward direction what is the total total flux uh, in the in the original in the original position what is the total flux linked is b into a what direction due to what direction of field inward now what happens you 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 pull it out so the inward kind of flux okay the the flux the flow that was inward that has got reduced so it will try to bring it back okay so the field will be the the induced current will be like the, it will try to push a field in the direction of my thumb due to that for that to happen the induced current will be like this okay now there is an interesting way of understanding it in in some other way what is the what is the force on on this this wire element can you calculate that so so in the first the current is clockwise fine what will be the force on this wire? What is the force on this wire? I L cross B. Is it not? I L cross B. Now what is the direction of I L cross B here? Can you tell me? For this current element, for this current element, this small thing, what is the direction of the, the I L cross B? Hmm? If, if, if I consider this to be a, a small straight element, I L cross B, B is like that, L is like this, they come together, co-initial, you have to first make them co-initial and then you bring the first vector onto the second vector, is it not? I L cross B, what is the direction of L? L has the same direction as the current. Why have I not taken current as a scalar? Because current is never a scalar. Why? Because it does not follow the vector laws of addition and subtraction. Okay, current is a scalar. Fine. So I had to per force, okay, due to that constraint, I had to make L as a vector. But the direction of L is taken in the same direction as the flow of the conventional current. Okay. So L, L cross B is in this direction. Understand? So what is the magnetic field trying to do? 
it is trying to pull you the same kind of force the magnetic force due to the north south pole that was generated in the earlier video the same thing it is trying to it does not want you to go out so it is trying to pull you up back you understand so if you if you understand it deeper then then that will also help you understand what is happening it has to do that and that is possible only when only when you have a clockwise current in the first now how about the second i am trying to squeeze it and make its area smaller okay i am trying to squeeze it and i am trying to make its area smaller and smaller what happens i am trying to shrink the area i am trying to change the flux in the in the inward direction so it will try to try to induce a current in the clockwise direction to to keep the flux the flow right now is from where to where from us into the board is it not if it was water where was it going hmm if it was water it was going into the board so in the flux is current the flow is into the board correct and if you shrink it if you decrease the area what happens to the flux it tends to decrease okay into the board so into the board it will try to increase the flux for that it will have to push a field into the board and how do you push a field into the board my if my thumb is the direction of the field then the fingers of my right hand will be the direction of the current so this current will push a field into the board so the second one also is a clockwise and and again when you see if you were trying to squeeze it again the force that the system applies on you is like what so that it opposes you it does not want you to compress it it will pull you out okay it will pull you out the same thing no if it is clockwise again you'll you'll see a force that is that is in this direction here here see l b l cross b there here hmm so all these elements they they experience a force like that which opposes your squeezing of the coil to make its area smaller if you were trying to squeeze it out immediately the current will change uske kaise pata chal raha hai ki current is generation of what sir kaise red wale hmm nahi nahi this is not ha ha i l cross b you apply i l cross b if you are trying to push it in it will try to pull you out it will oppose you even at the level of force also to red wale bhi nikal jayenge par wo sirf red wale par hote hain ha ye kaise pata chalega ki current kaun se direction mein nahi matlab red wala pata hai matlab aap bataoge na what you are trying to do if you do nothing nothing will happen but use uh, what i am trying to say here the blue is the force that i am applying okay so i am trying to squeeze the area i am trying to reduce the area so what ha what happens the flux into the board tries to decrease how can it compensate it by making its own field into the board so into the board how does that field get generated this right hand rule hmm so that's why the third one you are trying to take it in so you are trying to increase the flux into this it does not want that okay like we the human beings it is not more is better hmm if it is coming for free take it no it does not want it says whatever it is fine so you are trying to increase it in this direction it will try to oppose you by inducing a field in this direction and that is possible only when only when the current is counter clockwise right so here the induced current is counter clockwise we understand what about this the fourth one as long as it is floating inside the inside the field is there any flux change no so there will be 
no current induced the current starts getting induced only when it comes here and starts going out you understand hmm no current till it is going out the whole coil is inside the field a counter a, a clockwise current flows the moment that gets the field any part of the coil starts moving into the space which has no field correct which has no field understand do we get that point so the so the concept of the flux and the concept of the permanence of the flux is something that that is more useful than than anything else 